Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to spoof your location on iPhone, iPad or iPod. Whether you are playing any VR game like Pokemon Go or using an app where you can share your live location like WhatsApp and Instagram, you can spoof your location on all of them. For this, we will be using iTool Labs AnyGo software that allows us to spoof our location in just a few steps. It does support the latest iOS version and all the Apple devices as well. You can download the free trial from the link mentioned below in the description which comes with the limited functionality. Watch this video till the end as I will share a coupon code that will provide you 30% discount on already low price. After you have downloaded and installed the Anigo, open it, click on the start button. Now connect your device with the computer. I will show my device at the side so you can see the real-time location spoof happening on my device. Location spoofing can be done in the multiple ways. Teleport mode, two-spot route, multi-spot route and import GPX file. I will show you all of them one by one. So let's start with the teleport mode. You can change the current location of your device to any other location in the world. Type the location you want to set on your device. You can see on my device as well. It will change as it's updated on the Anigo software. You can see that the location is set to the London at the real time and this also works in the real time on VR games. Let me just show you in the Pokemon Go. So the game is open. Now let me change the location to Manchester. It will get it changed in the real time in the game. Did you see that? Same goes with these social apps like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. If you share your live location there, the new spoofed location will go. Now let's check the second way to spoof location with Anigo. It's two spot route, meaning you can set two location points and in between you can see the live moving as well. Click on this two spot route button and set the second spot. Let's set the second location just below the current point in the Manchester. Just click where you want to set the second spot and click on the go button. On this pop-up, you can change the settings in between the route, where and how you want to proceed. Then click on the go button in the pop-up. Look, it just created a route between two spots and it's moving and you can set the speed on it from the below bar as well. Let me just increase the speed. Look at the Pokemon Go, it's changing the speed as I change the speed from the bar here. If you want, you can set the route as favorite to use later. Just click on this spot, then click on the star button. Later, to access it, you can just click on this favorite icon to show all the favorite spots you have saved. Click on the one you want to set and click on the go button. It will set that for you. Not only two spot route, you can set multi spot route as well where you can go to many different spots for searching the Pokemon in the game. To set that, just click on this multi-spot route button and click on the different spots on the map where you want to route in between them. And it will create a route in between and will go one by one to all of these according to the speed you set. In case you have a GPX file to set location, you can import that from here to set the location. If you have a specific route that you visit very frequently, you can select that from this historical data section. You do not need to set that manually every time. And one exceptional thing I personally like about this iTool Labs Anigo, all the locations I have shown you can be done on multiple devices at the same time. Currently I do not have access to any other Apple device, so you can test it yourself. There is an option of joystick you can see that at the bottom left corner of the screen. You can directly control the direction from the computer on your mobile. Look at the game on my device. Click on the start button on the joystick and control it via mouse. As you can see, it's changing the direction based on the direction being set from the computer. How easy it is to spoof your location and change direction with Anigo. Last but not least, it's important for you to reset your device's location after you have used Anigo to spoof your location. Otherwise, it will set the spoofed one until the device is restarted. To reset the device location, click on this location reset button. You also get the reset option once you try to quit the software. From here, you can restart your device or you can manually restart your device on your own as well. 
This is how to spoof location on iPhone, on Pokemon Go or any other social apps like WhatsApp, Facebook or Instagram to hide your actual location. You can download it from the link given below in the description. Trial version is also available but with the limited functionalities but it's enough to test it out. You can buy it as well. This is the coupon code on your screen to get the 30% more discount on already discounted price on your purchase. You can get it from the description as well. Thank you for watching.